The Pakistani government plans to table the 27th constitutional amendment, granting greater powers to Pakistan Army Chief. Bangalore-based Axis Cades and European missile manufacturer MBDA have inaugurated a new missile test bench facility in Bangalore that will produce advanced test benches for MBDA's missile and launcher platforms. Bangalore-based Axis Cades has signed an MOU with France's Electronic Bird Control to co-develop the E-Raptor drone for military and civilian use. The Indian Army has placed an emergency order for over 1,000 Kamikaze FPV drones, and each drone is priced below 50,000 crore rupees, that will be fitted with a compact high-explosive warhead, capable of penetrating the frontal armor of modern main battle tanks. Hindustan Aeronautics Shukhoi Engine Division has issued an RFI to set up a massive 20,000-ton isothermal forging press to produce critical titanium and nickel-based superalloy components for jet engines. The Indian Army's Corps of Electronics and Mechanical Engineers has launched new drone hubs within the Southern Command, dedicated for in-house design development and mass production of combat-ready drones. The Indian Defence Secretary visited the facilities of Israeli defence companies like Rafael Advanced Defence Systems Elbit Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries, to explore new projects under the Make in India initiative. India and Israel have signed a new MOU during the 17th Joint Working Group meeting in Tel Aviv, that will enable sharing of advanced defence technologies and co-development and co-production. The Ministry of Defence has awarded a 289 crore rupees contract to Hyderabad-based Zen Technologies for the modernization of its indigenous anti-drone systems. Hyderabad-based Made Servo Drives Private Limited has partnered with the Indian Navy to develop large-scale electric propulsion motors for warships and next-generation submarines on the Project 76. New Space Research and Technology is developed Abhima new carrier-based collaborative combat aircraft for the Indian Navy has reached an advanced stage of development. It has a 1,000 km combat radius, a 25 kg precision warhead, and will support swarm and manned unmanned operations with Navy's Rafale Marine fighters. The Air Forces of India and US will hold their first joint exercise in southern India, featuring the American B-1B Lancer bomber, marking its third visit to India after Aero India 2021 and 2023. The Mach 1.25 capable Lancer will train with Rafale Su-30 and Tejas Mark 1A fighters in long-range and maritime strike drills, testing real-time data sharing and joint mission planning. Speculation is building in defense circles that India could explore a limited acquisition or leasing of the U.S. Air Force's B-1B Lancer heavy bomber, that will bolster long-range precision strike capability with 75,000-pound payload and intercontinental range. Latest reports suggest that five AMCA prototypes powered by F-414 engines will serve as testbeds, with one later modified to integrate the new Indo-French 120 kN engine for flight validation by 2031. This plan replaces the earlier proposal to use a modified Rafale as a flying testbed, that will cut down certification timelines by three years. Ground tests are scheduled at Gas Turbine Research Establishment Bangalore by 2030, with production ramp up by 2035, and this 120 kN engine will be scalable up to 140 kN for future 6th generation fighter programs. Today's Top 3 Comments Thank <laughs> you.